What's going on, everyone? It's Brian, Superboard Sunday, and we're back with another live stream. It's been a while since we've uh, we've had a live stream of an actual game. You know, that's not tabletop simulator or anything like that. So we're very excited to be bringing you a actual physical game because it's you know sometimes you gotta it's nice to play around with play actual games. That's kind of what we're doing here. So and that's what we wa always want to do. So when we get a chance to, we can. And uh, when you're primarily solo like me, the options the possibilities are endless so they're going to look at a game i got last week but it's a game that's been out for years uh, i'm looking at imperial settlers and um i have both this game and empires of the north but we're going to get to um a game of this and then i'll come back with some other um some other playthroughs of empires of the north in a little bit but imperial settlers as a solo game um they're just recently coming out as of this recording with a campaign mode um uh, called Rise of uh, Rise of Empire, and um, I'm gonna get it. I think um, there is also a fan made campaign mode, which I think this um, that kind of sparked the idea for the expansion, or, um, or the expansion is kind of um, going into deeper into a deeper campaign mode. But I have no idea uh, about the campaign mode more than reading the rules, so um, I'll get into that probably after a couple plays of this, just normally to get the feel of it. But uh, for uh, for now, we're going to be just playing a base game of Imperial Settlers. I'll get the rulebook out of the way. We're kind of already set up. Uh, and then after this, I want to give you a little teaser of the um, of the uh, folded space insert that I have. So um, the game of Imperial Settlers is basically a civilization game where you're trying to kind of have have the best engine going for the. Um, or the faction or the the tribe that you um that you're trying to uh control and today i'm working with the barbarians and what's cool about this game is on on either do uh it's the same on both sides faction wise but it's either male or female so you can kind of play as you like and the art is uh is is cool for all of them but i'm going to try it with the uh, barbarians here um i've only played a couple games solo just to kind of get the rules of it so this is my first time playing it live for you guys so um, any rules, goofs you see, feel free to leave a, um, put it in the comments below, and uh, we'll figure it out together. So you're playing the game pretty much the same way as you would in a normal game. You're um, trying to build build your faction up here and uh, kind of make the best the best engine you can. Uh, but you have an opponent, and the opponent is going to try to uh, destroy some of your common areas over here, which we will get to um, in a sec. Um, but to start the game as normal, you're going to be drawing yourself a hand of two common cards and two uh, faction cards. You do that first. Draw two commons and two faction cards. We'll look at those right now. So again, apologize for the camera angle. It's uh, if you can't read everything, I'm going to try to explain things as I go. But uh, right now, I have a I have a, a set of two and two that I get to look at right now. Um, at the start of the game, you get one more faction card, so you do that as well. Um, the object of the game is to survive five rounds um, by building more faction cards over here than your um, your opponent gets cards, because each time, uh, each round, your opponent is going to get two cards, and um, you have the op you have the opportunity to raise them or uh, destroy them. But at the end of the game, you basically want to have more faction cards built uh, on this side of the mat than they have cards in their hand. Once you do that, after five rounds, you'll then get to uh, score and see how you actually did. So we'll get to that in a sec. I'm going to adjust the camera really quick. So one sec. Perfect. Okay, so... That's what you got to do, and we'll, I'll go through the process right now. I'm going to move the scoreboard out, put these cards right here so they're easy to access. But this is your um, the, the deck of, of Solo, and they all have the same image, but up top is what's different. So at the start of the game, you've got to shuffle these up, and you've got to flip one of them over. I'll put that one right here. So what this means is when you're done with your turn, you play everything you want. Um, once you're done, you do your cleanup. Then you're going to be doing a attack phase by the AI. What the attack phase is, is you're going to look at the top symbol here. In this case, it's money. Actually, you're going to flip one card over. Whatever the resource that is, you're going to look on your common areas. And if it has a raised resource, 
that has that icon on it, then you look at the next one. So does it have a, in this case, I'll shuffle it back up. So I flip this over. I look at any faction cards here that has a star. And if I have one that has a star in the, in the raised area, then I would look for the next one. Does it have a star and a coin? And if it does, it's removed from the game. We'll get to how that kind of works after this, after I get going on that. So I'm gonna shuffle these ones back up. But for now, we know that there's a coin involved. So we'll shuffle those up. And we're gonna go to um, the draft. So like I said, you get you get your your starting of, of two and two. Then at the end of at the beginning of each round, you get one faction card to your hand. The object is to build more locations over here than it is over on the enemy side, which will put a stack for, for him right here. So trying to figure out what we have. So a lot of the um, faction cards I have here are, right now are cards in wood and an already kind of destroyed building. Uh, then there's a wood and a stone um, and a wood and a destroyed building. So I need something that produces wood. Um, so I like this already. This gives me two wood when I build it and each production phase. So I know I want, I'm going to want this. So these are all good right now. So these cards I have to start, no problem. So now you're going to draw four common cards. You're going to choose one. So in this case, I'm going to choose this one here. So because this is kind of a, a pay to build it. Let me get a focus there. And you got to pay to build is free. Um, and gives me a worker. And um, it's basically just a ruin. So I can put this out here, the feature. And it just stays there. And then when I need it to, for my other cards to destroy it, I would just remove it. And that would cost, that would count towards the cost. So I'm going to keep this card. Here. Then I, you take these three, you shuffle them up. Then they get this one. So they're going to get this card here. They don't get anything with the resources, but you can um, raise them. Um, when you raise them, it's going to cost two, um, Two tokens to destroy their to destroy the card, and you get these resources as well. So that's just gonna sit over here, sit over there with with them. After the round, this card goes away, and you can no longer raise it. So for this round only, I have a chance to do that. Now I choose uh, here. So there's more wood here. I get uh, it's an action to spend a worker to gain two wood, which is very good. Um, and this one is the gallows. Uh, each time I raise, I gain a point, which I'm not. I'm all set with that for now. So I'm going to give him that one as well. I'll take this one. And now we go into the production phase. We just did the lookout phase. That's what that was. Now we go through production where, and I, get, I could be getting these out of order, but for this, for the purposes of this, it doesn't really matter. So I look at my production sheet here and I get five workers, a raised token and a shield. Now the shields don't do anything in the solo game, but we're just going to get it anyway, because it, I go through the motions here. Now, Barbarians, they have a, a lot of people in production. Um, so you're going to be using a lot of their, a lot of the people um, as opposed to other factions. So that's their production. Their feature is I can store any number of uh, workers from round to round. So that's awesome. And then my action, I can spend two workers to gain either a wood, a stone, a uh, food, or a card. Card is good because you're going to, again, you're going to want to build more over here than cards they collect. So let's go with round one. So again, you just, you play what you want until you want to pass or until you have, you know, nothing you can do. So you play till you pass and then they attack. We're going to play our cards here. I'll first get this one out here, this feature, which is free to build to me. And it's going to um, get me a worker. So right off the bat, I've done nothing but put out a ruins but I took the worker that was kind of hanging out there. You can see part of these are part of the folded space insert, which is pretty badass. So I did that. I don't have any wood or anything right now, um, but I have the workers to, to get what I need, I think. Um, oh, and also I forgot this. So on your faction cards, they have what's known as deals. Hey, Chris, what's going on, bud? Taking a lunch break to play a little quick game of, uh, of Imperial Settlers. So on the bottom of your feature, uh, on the bottom of your faction cards, there's this make a deal to uh, get something. So you would pay a food, you would flip this over, 
slide this under and then each production you would get that so that's always an option but again you're taking away a card that you could potentially build over here that would help win win the game so what's i want to get some stuff going here um then here this is a pretty good one if i can get a wood and a stone i can spend two workers to get two raise tokens but i want to get some stuff out here um I need to get some wood, so what I'm going to do is everything's fine at this point. I'm going to do this actually. So I'm going to spend two workers to get a wood, then I'll spend two workers again. It's probably a bad idea to get a stone. I'm then going to use that wood and stone to build this common uh, quarry, which is going to go right here. Uh, and that's going to get me um, a stone. It's going to get me two stones. So I'm going to put the, pay the stone, pay the wood. It's going to get me a stone for building it. And then it, every production building gets you what they produce that round. So I get two stone. And then that's that. I might do this. I'm going to spend these two workers here to grab a wood again. And I'm going to then build this, um, this fighting ring, I believe. What looks pretty good. Because a fighting ring would let me spend two workers to gain two race tokens. And you need two of these sword, these race tokens, to get rid of these cards. So I need that. I'm going to build that. Put this here. I'm going to spend the stone, the wood, and then I'm going to crush this building. This building's now gone. I needed, I needed a foundation from something else. So I did that. I think that's all I can do. It's kind of a weak first round. Um, I need to get some more workers going, but I can build an, I get another stone coming up here. So we'll do that. Uh, I think that's all I can do. All I have is a stone and a sword. Um, uh, I guess I can raise my, I can raise something. I can raise to gain some wood, which would help me. Um, raising gets rid of these cards. I have nothing that would help with it. Um, not at the moment, so I won't do that. So we'll go to uh, the cleanup phase, which is removing the things that you didn't use. I'm going to keep this shield here because we don't use them anyway, so I'm just going to keep it there. Um, now we're going to go into the attack phase. So, as I mentioned, um, so these, these two cards now go into this uh, stack here. Now I have to at least have two cards. I mean, I'm going to need ten by the end of this thing, but there's, there's a two cards here that he has that I can't touch anymore. So right now I'm going to flip over the attack card. You do two every round. And I'm looking for any location I have over here that has a raise bonus of a worker, which I do not. It's a stone. Like go and then I go do the second attack. So now we're looking for wood. There's no raise to gain over here. That's wood. It's stone. So so far two attacks were gone. Now we start the next round. We'll do uh, production now. Get my five workers. My sword. Already have my shield, and then I get my one stone. That's that. And then we're going to do, I'm going to get my one faction card to start the round, which is a good, it's a uh, saboteur. I can spend a worker to take any one resource from an enemy. So that, I'm not sure how to do, how that works with, um, with solo, to be honest, but it is a, it is a resource. Like it isn't a uh, faction card I can build over here. So it's, it's worth something. So we'll do that. And then we're going to take four cards from the top of the common deck. I'm going to choose one, shuffle these up, go get one. I'll take one more. So let's look at what we got going on here. I have some stone I could use. A lot of these cost, are costing wood, which is kind of wild. So let's, um,
like this. I get cards this way. So this is pay two wood to get some, to get a card. And for building it, I get a card. So I like, I like that one. Because getting more cards, you can pick from either the common deck or your own faction deck. Shuffle these up. You'll get this one. They have the, it's the same, it's the same one here that I just had. So now they have it. Um, and then I get to pick one more of these. So that goes here. Now I get a choice. Uh, it's features. Uh, I get a star for each pink uh, house in my empire. Um, max six. Um, and then additionally, I can draw a card. Uh, and then another feature is each time you build a pink house, gain one coin and one star. So I like this one. Put those over there. Now we start. So I gotta gotta start moving here. We're actually in round two now. Trying to get to round five. A lot of stuff going on. I need wood. Um, so I need something that will give me wood. Uh, part of this. So, but it's it costs me two wood, which is. Can I raise anything? I think I'll raise or make can I make a deal? Here's a deal with wood. I don't have any food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise my own card here. So it's a I'm gonna discard this one. So you can rate you can raise your own stuff. Let me try to get this in focus for you. So right here I can where it says raise to gain. I can spend my sword to basically discard this card from my hand and get that wood. So I'm gonna do that. Again, I haven't played this game many times, so the strategy is is a little lost on me at the moment. But I hope I'm making some good some good plays. One, two. So that's two, two wood that goes away. I have that card in my hand, so I have the the wood there card out of my hands. I have two wood to build stuff, so this is a very good card that I want to get on the on the field immediately. My only concern is this attack deck here. So this is. The attack deck, like I mentioned, is where you got to flip over a card, and if it matches anything in that raised gain field, um, you then go to the next one. So it is possible that the first thing I draw out of here next is going to be a wood, which will then go match with the wood behind it. So it's going to be tough. It's it's a it's always a gamble. Um, I could pay the two wood I have to build that. Or I can spend the two wood right now to get a card. And this one is very good because it gives me two cards for building it. Then it'll give me a card each round. So more stuff to do. So let's try that. I'm going to do that instead because I'm just scared of that being another wood on top of it. So let me just make sure I'm not doing anything. That's over here, right? Yeah, that's over here. So do that. Uh, for building it, I'm going to get two cards. So I'm going to grab a... Oh, get rid of the wood first. Sorry. I'm going to get... I'm going to grab one card from here. Then I'll do one card from here. I'll do one and one. It's a good... It's a pretty resource manager, for sure. Um, I would say this is... Um, yeah, and it has... It obviously has a lot of factions. For solo, it's a little light on this for the base solo game, but they since came out with a campaign on you can find on BGG, which I'm going to start after a couple more plays of this. I just want to make sure I get this down before going to the campaign, but that seems to be a lot more. Uh, it involves dice, it involves picking some provinces and, and gaining stuff from round to round, from game to game, spending your victory points on stuff to do the next game. So it seems a bit more heavy. It seems like I'll, I'll like that a lot more than this, but this is still. It, it's a cool little cool little game, and then Rise of the or was it um, Empires of the North is a is a is a really good solo because yeah, those have scenarios built into it. really nice. I got the cards here. I got another saboteur. Is that another saboteur? It is okay. So I have some workers I can do some stuff with. I got some stone. Uh, let's see. I need to get some cards over here. I can also spend two workers to gain two raise tokens, which would then destroy one of these. And they're also coming out with, so there's a campaign, like I said, campaign mode that they came up with a couple years ago for Imperial Settlers, but this week they're actually releasing a $40 expansion, which gives you a campaign uh, to play 
think it's over it, it lasts about 20 games or so so it's it looks like a pretty sweet thing and i think they can both kind of exist in its own its own world this campaign expansion and then the one they put up for print and play and you don't need cards you don't, you're not printing any cards for this campaign you're just printing a couple sheets that you then roll dice to kind of see what you do next so i like print and plays that don't have cards because it's tough to shuffle printed cards and things like that so it's up to you for sure um, each time I raise again a card, so I don't want to destroy anything yet because I like all the build. That's the tough thing is I have a lot of nice buildings of production here, so I'm also trying to get points sometime. Um, definitely a wood heavy common deck. This is for sure. Need to get some of these out. So I'm gonna do a two people for a wood. And then I'm gonna put this out here. A to build this quarry, another quarry. So it's gonna get me um it is wood and a stone. It'll get me actually two more stone back. There we go, we got three. And I'm not too worried about this one. I'm, I'm more built this one to kind of destroy it. Because I already have a quarry over here, so we're, we're fine with that. I'm going to pay to build this um, saboteur's action here. I can take I can spend one worker to take one resource from an enemy. I will. But in order to do that, I have to spend a wood. So in order to get that wood, I will get I will spend two workers to get the wood. And I'll spend that wood and destroy this building as part of this this move here. Now I can spend workers to get a resource, which is very good. If I want some some quick wood. I can do these cards. Many times, I mean, it doesn't say I can't. So, I have a lot of stone and not a lot of things to do with it, so I can't trade anything. Can't, I don't have enough workers to do anything with with that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend this worker to get a food, and then I'm going to make a deal here. I'm going to make a deal. With one of the, with another saboteur card that has a coin, so a coin can be used for it's it's worth victory points in the, the game, but it can also be used as a wild uh, for for resources. So I'm going to spend this food, make a deal with the saboteurs, give them some food, which gets me that coin right now. Very good. And then each time production happens, I can get a coin. So that coin can be used for food, wood, or stone. Not use, not much use for me right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right there. I'll clean up, get rid of this stuff. The shield I'll, again, I'll keep there. Uh, then I'm gonna go to the attack phase. So you get two attack here. Ooh, see, glad I didn't do that wood because that, uh, glad I didn't build. Had I built this one here, and then I drew this wood card, would have. That okay, there, this one's also looking for wood, and then you go up the, to the next one. You go, okay, is the next thing on this card another wood? So you go wood, wood and wood, and then this card would have been gone. If there wasn't that, you would go, okay, how about wood and person, wood and coin? So that's how that works. So luckily, there's no cards out on this side that have wood. This one would have been gone for sure, and that's no good. Next attack, three wood. So <laughs> very good. So now we know that that's out of the way. Now what I can do is I can I can probably build these with with confidence. I'm not sure how many cards are in the deck, but that's something I can, I can think about. So that's good. Uh, I'm down two cards to two here, so I need to I need to get going here. Or two cards to four. So I need to I need to get some get some stuff going here, and maybe some points would be nice. So let's do production. Get my five workers. We get my coin. 
We get my stone. I get two cards. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two faction cards. Actually no, I'm gonna do one faction card and one common card. Perfect. And then I will drop my cards, pick them back up. Um, so then at the start of the round, you get one of your faction cards from the giddy up. We'll do that. That's good. Produce more workers for one wood. Nice. I like that a lot. Um, we'll look at these cards in a sec, but now we're going to do four cards from the top of this deck. Four. And we get to choose one here. So it's, this one's pretty good. Spend a wood to gain a point and be activated twice. Um, for each red building you have, which is none right now, so it's, I'm not going to worry about that. Spend a wood to gain a point. Spend a wood to immediately build a faction building, ignoring the building cost. This is the one I would like. Now we flip this over. Shuffle these. They're going to get this one. Spend a wood to gain a point. I would do the same thing. i to get that one and they'll get this one. I do like this action. Spend a wood to immediately build a faction building, ignoring the cost. That is epic. So that's probably the first one I want to go for right, right now. That's a common building. So my only hesitation right now is them attacking it. But again, let's just we'll get we'll cross that road when we get there. I want to get some faction buildings out. So as long as I can get the faction in there um, now. Like, as long as I can get the faction buildings built before this is ex attacked, we're good to go. So I'm going to spend one wood by way of this coin. Coin was wood. Do that. And now I can, for as an action, um, I can spend a wood to immediately build a faction building, which is any one of these cards, without spending the cost, without spending... It's ignoring the house costs, so ignoring the foundation. I'd still have to pay the resource, but not the actual uh, foundation, which which means I won't be destroying buildings, which is a very good thing. So, um, a good action. I can spend two to get two. Oh, I didn't get a raise token for that last for in production. Um. I like this production one, so I'm going to need, I'll just do this now. It's two workers for a wood. I'll use that wood to build this production. It's a production of two people every round. So two people is essentially one resource for me, which is what I want. So do that. Oh, and I get those two right now as part of building it. That's, that's very good. Um... Two people. I can spend two people to get two. Let's, let's spend those two to get two raise tokens. And then let's use that raise token to attack here. So I'm going to use them to attack um, this one. This one's now out of the game. Put it over here. I get the star and the apple. Well, so my first point, get it. Points wise, I have to see how this how this plays out, but Oh, and now we're in round three. Gotta remember to do that. So I raised it. Those two tokens here. Perfect. Now I get a food which I can make deals with. Always gonna make deals. Doing and dealing. I'll redact something, so I believe I gained two cards by accident here. So if you notice that, awesome. If not, when I did production, I looked at this instead of this. I gained I gained cards based off that. So I should have one card less, but that's we're already too far in now. Too far in. As a solo player, you gotta, you know, gotta make gotta make your uh 
Gotta make a man somewhere. So, I also have all these cards. <laughs> so many cards. Require wood. Need So, I can spend a worker to get a resource from my enemy. So, I'm going to spend a worker to get a wood. Then I'm going to spend two workers to get another wood. Now I'm going to build this um, this lumber yard. It costs two wood to build. It's going to give me two wood right now. There's a little bit of little swap. I think it goes over here. I think it's on this side. Yeah, it's a common. I have two wood to deal with here. Which gives me a lot, actually. I actually can build some good stuff right now. I can build this common feature for each uh, gray building I have. Each time you build a gray building, you, um, you get a coin and a point. That's good. I can also make a deal to get more wood, which is always good. So I'm going to spend this food to make a deal, which gets me another wood. This is, always, this is tough. Okay. Ideal to get a wood. So I trade you. Did a little, little bartering there. Now I get a coin and a wood as well as all this for production, which is super good. I have three wood, which I have some things I can do with that. I can also spend one wood to build something without the without destroying something. So I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna spend a wood. What factory buildings do I have? I got two. So I can spend this one says spend a wood to immediately build a faction building, ignoring the building in the building cost. Which is a lot to say I just spend everything except destroy a building. So I look at these two, I'm gonna build one for the one for one wood that I have. Spend two resources to gain two points, or spend one person to choose an enemy and gain one, one of the goods from the raise field. I like that. So it basically, it'll let me spend a person to then get something from their raise to gain thing over here. So I'm going to spend a wood to build that guy. This is actually an action. I'm going to go there. I'm going to spend the wood to do it. Nice. And then I could do... May as well use the wood because you, you lose everything when you're done. So I'm going to use this wood here to build this um, the action to spend a wood to gain a point. I can do that twice. Just getting some more stuff out there. And that's all I can do. So I'm going to clean up here. I guess I could raise something if I wanted to. Get back in the game a little bit. I'm going to lose the token. I will do that. I'm, I'm going to raise this card here to gain a person and a food. Person. Food. I'm going to use that person over here. This card lets me choose an enemy building. There's only one, and then gain one of the goods shown in the raise field. So I will do... Spend the person. I'm going to get a wood. And I will... Spend this wood, and I'm going to destroy this to build a faction building over here, which is an action. Uh, spend two resources to g in any combination to gain two uh, points. Yeah. So that's that. So he's going to get that card. Right now he has... Two, three, four, five cards to my five. So I've caught up with him. I gotta start getting points, but we'll figure that out right now. So 
We're now in around four. Let's do some, do the cleanup do the thing. Now we will do, um, I'll get my one card to start the round. We'll do production now. I'll do the one wood and one coin for my deals that I've made. My one stone. Get an extra card, so I'm gonna go faction card again. Two wood, then my normal stuff. So five workers and a, and a sword. Oh, and I get two more workers, so I'll do one, two, and five from there. Actually, so I'll do this, then I'll back up because I forgot to do the attack phase. So the attack phase. You guys have to ha has to happen twice, and if something gets eliminated from here, I'll I'll make good with it right now. So we'll do attacking. Looking for anything with a raise to gain a coin, and there is not. Swing and a miss. Raise to gain and a stone. So there's a stone right here, and that's it. So now that there's a stone here, is there a stone and a coin? No. Stone in a wood? No. Stone in a person? Stone in a coin. So nope, this is this still stays here because there's two stones. There's only one stone card here, so we're still good. That would have been crazy because I, I do want I want to keep these uh I want to keep these um stones. Let me just check something here. Got it. Okay. I was checking the raise ability and I was doing it right. For some reason I thought I was doing it wrong. So now we're going to do the four cards on the top of the deck here. I'm going to choose one. This is a good one. Spend one card to or sorry, spend one worker to draw a card. That's good. More wood. I got plenty right now, which is a good thing. Spend a worker to gain a coin. That's a good one. I like this one. Spend a worker to gain a coin. Keep that here. And then I shuffle these up. Get this one. Put it up here now that we're kind of approaching. I only have one point right now, which is disturbing. But I'll have to look at how points are gained after this. <laughs> They'll get that card. Move these a little bit to the side. I, I wonder if I missed an attack phase. No, I don't think I did. One. Two, three. Okay, this is round four. Yeah. So we'll do that. I'm gonna get this card right here. The cards already has. I have to choose one more. This is a, another. No, it's not. It's a acting troop. Uh, I get to send a worker to choose one of your other action. One of your other action buildings. Discard goods spent to activate it. Um, you may activate that again. One worker to choose one other action building. Discard goods spent to activate it. Right here. <laughs> In order to not draw it out. And now we get to go. We have a hand of cards here, and it's time to do stuff with things. I want to keep building some faction buildings. I got two in my hand. I keep looking at the back to see which is the factions, but another way to look at um, what's your faction ones is there's no raise um, abilities on faction cards. There's only raise abilities on, on, on non. Um, so we're looking for some wood and some some, some foundations here. So I have. Do this. I'm gonna move this over here. This a little discard pile. That's that's all. I'm gonna spend two wood to build this, which will get me two wood back. Um, it actually gets me an extra wood on top of that. Actually, I spend a wood. I spend two wood, and I get two wood back because it's a production of one wood and a building bonus of one. So I only get the two. Um, but I'm not gonna keep that for long because I want to build this sentry gun here. This sentry gun is actually going to, might actually, that'll actually stay there. 
because I'm going to spend my do my action to spend a wood to build this without spending without destroying a building. So it's only going to cost me two wood to build it. And this gives me an extra sword and a person. You know what two swords means? I can smash these buildings. I do enjoy. I can get two more cards with that. That'd be good. Let's do that. So I'm going to kill that guy's card with two swords. This is now discarded. And I'm going to draw two faction cards for doing that. All right, all right. I see you. We have the chapel, spend a worker to gain a point, and we have the raid. Each time I raise, I gain a point. That's a feature. I don't have any features. I should have. I should uh, get some going in case I raise again. It'd be good to get another point. Something tells me points comes from these cards too. I've yet to calculate points in this game, so <laughs> we'll see if it works. See what happens here. Um, build this gold mine. It's an action. Spend a worker to gain a, go uh, a coin. Let's do that. Let's get that out of here. I'm going to spend um, this coin as a wood and this stone. And now I have this gold mine here, so I can spend a worker at any time to get a coin. I can do it twice per round. So normally it's two, it's two workers to get resources. Now it's one. Basically get a wild resource. And again, this can only be used for the three main resources here. It can't be used on raise tokens or workers. It's... I can cash one of these in for stone wood. That's it's just better than this. It's a good it's a good conversion. I can do it twice, which is super good. I have three faction buildings I can put out. I guess this is a good one right here. So easy peasy. I'm gonna spend the one worker to get a coin. I'm going to then build this by using this one coin instead of one wood. That gives me two people. Look at all these people I have now. Um, I think I will spend two of these people here. I think I'm going to put them on the card so I keep track of it. I'm going to spend two people to gain two swords. I'm going to put my work, the worker that I spent here, just so I know that I've done it once. I think that's the whole point of it. I've already done it once, and that's the, that's the marker for it. I spent it. I'll put it on the card from now on. I can do this twice. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to spend a worker and a coin. I'm going to spend a worker here, get a wood. And two workers. Here, I'm going to walk you through my thought process. Two workers, as a regular trade here, get another wood. I want to keep all these buildings, because why not? There's more for him to, t to attack, but I'm, I want to use them while I can. So I'm going to spend the one wood to build this building, and it's a feature, the raid feature. Each time I, ra or each, each time I raise, I get a point. So it's going to cost me one wood, and because of this ability, it does not gonna, it's not going to have me take down any of these. Knock that out. It's up here. Um, now, I wanted that built because I wanted to use these two tokens to raise for here. This card's now out of the game for the opponent, but I get a worker and a wood for doing that. And because I raised, I get an extra point. Very cool. I'm not complimenting myself, but it's a very cool way to like feel good about the moves you've made. <laughs> it's like, okay, I've done this to do this. I basically just did four actions to do one thing, but it all kind of, it all worked. It all danced. Now he has way less cards, so I'm pretty confident and I'm, I'm going to win this, so.
I'm gonna win it, but who knows how the points are gonna points are gonna come out here. So let's let's keep going. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff here. Spend a worker to choose um, an enemy house. No, nope, that's fine. Spend two resources to get a point. Um, that's resources. Get two points. I'm gonna spend this wood and this gold. Even though the gold's already a point. Maybe I'll do the gold for right now. I'm gonna do that's fine. Cause I I have to get rid of it now anyway, so it's worth two points at the end of the game if I have them. But uh, I'm gonna spend two resources here of any combination to get two points. Four points right now. Now I have four people, four workers. Um, already done that and spend one worker to choose an enemy building to gain one of the goods, but I've already, I've already raised all of them. I could have, I should have done that before I got rid of them. That would have been nice. That would have been a, a better move. Um, now I have people, I can store them. I guess I'll store them for the next round. Store them over here. That's my feature. I may have forgotten that in past rounds, so we're learning together. So that's the end of the round. He's going to attack me. We'll take care of the attack right now. Flip this. Anything with a raise to gain a card. Boom, right here. Only one. Card and a stone. No. Card and a point. Card and wood. No card. There's no other card here. So this lives. This stays. Not for long, though. So here's kind of how this works. So we look for a building with a card for a raise to gain, which is right here. Okay, so does it have a card and a card? The answer is yes. So this goes away. He has destroyed this one. And then these two that were just used go to the back. First time a successful attack on his part, so good for him. He, atta he attacked twice, two attempts. Actually, does it go to his pile, I wonder? Let me double check those rules. I don't want to... I don't want him to... Not get what he should. Oh, so he gets that. He'll get it as a as part of his collection. So that's one way for him to get more cards other than two per round. So he has those cards now. Going into the final round, he has one, two, three, four, five, six. I have three, six, eight. So I should be good right now. I want to get a couple more out, obviously. I'm going to get one of these to start the round. Um, we'll do production now. So I'm going to get a coin and a wood. I'm going to get one raise token. I'm going to go one, two, three. Or five workers. I'm getting a lot of workers this round. I'm gonna put this here. There's a five spot. Got five workers right there. Um, I'm gonna get a stone and three wood. Now I go to my normal production. So normal production is another five workers. I'll get another five token out here. I'm carrying over four. That's pretty awesome. I get another raise token as well. So that's good. And I have these four as four workers as well. So a lot can happen in this round. I'm pretty confident. Um, the solo, yeah, the solo campaign. No, so the solo campaign, you're still playing against the dummy player. So you're still trying to maximize everything. It's doing the same thing. Um, I'll open the box after this game, and so and if you're not here, you can you can come back and watch it. It's it's no big deal. But with each expansion, I believe it gives you because I have all the expansions gives you a card that gives the faction kind of more. It gives you it gives you the faction another option, like another thing to do. So like there's a card that gives it a actual faction like attack three times this round or attack four times. So varies it a little, uh, but the dummy player will will forever be. Is is in this campaign as well, and I believe in the in the other campaign. So the, this deck is always used. That makes sense. 
but I, I will show you the, the other card after I play this, once I open up this box and show you what's going on in there. Got the card here. Got the four, the fortress. Whoa, building cost. I have no, I have three. Oh, this will give me three points off the bat if I can build this. Uh, this fortress. Um, when I build it, I'll get a star for each black building in my empire. Max six, and I have three right now. So let's do this. I'm going to do the four cards here. One, two, three, four. And I get to choose one and do something with it. Or I get to keep it. And when I spend a worker and a stone to get two points. Very good. Spend a worker and a wood to get two points. I have a lot of wood, so maybe I'll do that one. Save this. Shuffle it up. This one, I'm automatically going to be able to raise one of his anyway, so I'm not, not too worried. So now we got spend a worker and a stone to get two points. Is that the same one as this? No. Now I choose one. Spend a worker, oh, the same one as this. Spend a worker and a stone to get two points. But his raise is a star. Maybe I want to raise this one when I get a chance to. So I'm going to do that. And then this one is mine. So to start, let's do. Gotta get some stuff out here. Let's build some build that feature. I like this here. Oh, actually, we gotta clean this stuff up too. I did not clean up from the last game, from the last round. Clean that up. Get out of here. Because I want stuff to do here. I'm gonna first start out by building this fortress. Right there. But I'm gonna do so by Building this, putting a wood right here to immediately build this, but ignoring the foundation cost and the two wood that it would cost to build it. One, two, three, four. Let's right, so make sure I had enough wood to start. So that's built. And because I built it, I get a star for each of the black buildings that are already built. Black is the, the color here. I get one, two, three. Also, let me know how, if, if you're still there, Chris, let me know how everything looks. I know it's kind of like, it's a low quality webcam, but if it's, if you're kind of following along still, I appreciate it. Um, cause I'm, I'm hopefully gonna be doing, uh, you know, more of these once I get the campaign going, but I do appreciate it as always. Uh, for each black. So one, two, I get five actually. Five points. Bam. One, two, three, four, five. Um, next, it's so much. I got so many workers to do stuff with. This is multiple times this action, so I'm gonna be able to do some stuff. I got one more faction card I can put out. So I will do. I guess I can build this chapel. Oh, this is perfect here. So I can build this chapel use these workers because I can spend the worker to get a point, spend the worker to get a point, do it twice. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. It's tough to get, all, tough to get the card text in, especially when the camera's, you know, so high up, but, uh, appreciate it. Um, let's do that. So I'm going to spend four workers. I think. No, I'm not. I'm going to spend two over here at the gold mine. I'm going to spend two of the gold mine to get two gold coins. But I'm then going to convert those gold coins into wood. So two wood. I'm going to just build this action here. Building the chapel. And I'm going to just demolish this. So I get to spend a worker to gain a point, and I can do that twice. So oh, I got a lot of workers, so I should just do that right now. I did spend, there's two workers on there to gain two points. Be careful with this round track, or with this uh, board track, because it, it does this thing. It, it does a snake. You don't want to go from 9 to 18 points real quick. Still my turn. It's always my turn until it's done. I do want to raise um, it, one of his cards. I still can. 
and spend two workers here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off this five marker here and actually get five workers going here. So one or five. So I'm gonna spend two workers here to gain two swords. And now I can raise both of his cards. Um, which is which is fine, but I don't know if I need to. I should I mean, if I do, I, de I will win that part of it, which is, is always good. I'll get more points for building faction locations. So something to think about. So how do I get cards? Any more cards? I can get a card by spending two workers. Let's do that. I'm going to spend two workers, get a card, see what I, if I can build something else. This is two points to build. All faction buildings are going to give me two points, which is good. I do notice that too, and the only reason why I have autofocus on is to, is for this. If I ever bring something up close, but I will definitely try that next time. Yeah, and it's I definitely understand that the the journey of being a web a, a live streamer is. But I definitely I have it turned off during Rally Man because you're not zooming in anywhere on Rally Man. But for this, when it's card focused, next time I'm gonna have another I have another um, camera. I'm gonna put. So it just zooms in on cards, like I'll slide it under the camera and it'll be on the card, so that's a good tip. This might work. I feel like this, spend a sword or two swords to raise a card from an enemy. Uh, discard any number of goods you receive to gain two points for each good. This would be good if I built it. So if I build this now, I can, whatever I, instead of getting the, those, I get points. Let's try to get there. Let's try to get to that, this, this point. I'm going to send this worker here to get a stone. One thing about this game is you have to rem remember that you have stuff that you can do down here. The action row. Um, just remembering that you can do all this stuff. Um, and then trying to get to where you want to go is is kind of a process, but it's it's fun. So I now have what I need to build this. So I'm going to build this another action, another action row here. Getting off camera, but it's, you know, believe me what this card says. <laughs> it's going to cost me a wood, two stone, and I have to destroy something, so I'll destroy this. Cause I feel destroying this doesn't really doesn't matter at the end of the game, so I'm, I'm now, I don't need these anymore. Uh, but now when I spend my raise tokens to get the resources, uh, when I when I destroy these cards, I now get two, if I, dis, if I discard, let's read this together in plain English. So the action of this card is spend one or two swords to immediately raise a location um, from an enemy normal as normal but i can discard any number of goods that i receive from that raise and get two points per so what that i think it can only be done once unless otherwise noted put those here raise this one here and instead of getting the wood and the stone that i normally would i'm just going to get four points instead Now I'm going to get I'm going to do these two swords again to have to raise that, do I? I could raise my own card. This one will give me two cards. Um, I mean, I've already beaten him in cards. Let's double check. Yeah, six to my six here. It's like a tons. But I might use those swords to get more cards to see if I can build them. So let's back that up a little bit. I'm going to use one sword to raise my own cards here, or raise that to get me more cards. To get me one, two cards. These are all points. I'm going to cash this in for a stone. 
And this will now, maybe I didn't want that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. I'm going to build this stone pit. Which gets me a raised token and a stone right there, but I have to destroy something, so I'm going to destroy this. Giving him less options, because I'm destroying my own building, so giving him less to attack my end. Now I can raise my own stuff again, but now I have another two to, um, to, to take his cards away, so I will do that. I'm going to spend two swords to destroy this card, but I get a point stone. Now I have a I have five workers. We'll get these out so just so I can present them. Bring them out. Five workers and a stone. So or two stones. Which would help with this. Um but it's this is more of an each time. But if it survives, I get a point. Some wood here. So in order to get a point. I can do out here. Spend a worker to choose an enemy building. I already did that. Uh, well, I could have done that already. Shoot, this one I keep forgetting about. I could spend a worker to choose an, choose one of the enemy's buildings and gain one of the things from the raised field. So I could have gotten points from before. Spend two resources here to gain two points. So it might be a way to convert those into points. So I might go that route. I'm going to spend two resources to gain two points. I can do it twice. Maybe I'll just do two, four. Trade these in. Or we'll just say two wood. Put that here two more points because normally I believe resources are two for one so that was a decent deal and I have these I don't know if I can do anything with one oh that goes over here can't do anything with those well, each time I raise I should have gotten a point so I raised twice this round so I'll just do two put on the features and that's it. So let's get into the attack. I believe there's one more attack. Gotta double check the rules. After the fifth round, count all the cards in the collection pile uh, of the virtual player. If the virtual player has more, you lose. Uh, on the other hand, if you have more, then you calculate your victory points. So I definitely did, but we're gonna do another attack because he does at the end of every round. Just so it gives him a chance to get more cards. Move these up. Looking for a worker right here. Uh, he will end up getting this card in his hand eventually because it's going to go worker stone, worker coin, worker wood, and that's right here. So he's going to get both of these. I'll just move these back here. So he's going to get this card right now. And what else does he get? It's going to be pretty probably easy for him to get something. Oh, food. So no, no food here. So he's not going to get this card. So we're good. So you start out by counting. I'm gonna put these, just get these going here because no need to worry about the attack anymore. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards to my four, six, 12 cards. So I won. Now it's time to see how well I won. So now you count the points. And I haven't, count, I've actually played the game twice. And I just didn't count points because I was just getting a feel for the game. So I believe it's just everything on the cards. I want to double check. For the points. I think it's everything on the cards. Okay. The game ends up to five rounds. Victory points are collected by the players throughout the game and also stuff on the on the on here, so every common action or every common area is one point, and every one of these is two. So I get one point for this. I get 
2 times 12, I get 24 points from that, which gets me to 47. Yep. Gets me to 47, which I don't know how good that is. Um, so now we'll check. I'll get it from a solo campaign perspective. Uh, the score 47, the achievement table here, is um, Squire. Can't really get in there on the focus. But it says Squire, so it's kind of in the middle. There's 30, 30 plus 40 plus, so I'm kind of third. So I won with it a score of 47. That's all right. So it's really about getting those points and... Um, now that I understand that the points come from these cards at the end, it's definitely um, about getting these cards out and then using the features on them to get those points throughout the game. I was scared at first because you don't score a lot of points during the actual game, which kind of made me like not frustrated, but like I don't really know how to get all these points. But at the end, it's everything's counted up. So even though I was destroying these buildings, thinking it was a good, thinking it was a good idea, it was only it was netting me one point, so it was still good. I wasn't getting points on this side, so that's kind of, that's it for um, for the game. Let me show you really quick what I was talking about before in regards to solo, but I will show the I'll show off the folded space. I like it uh, as a as a quick uh, quick note. I like it, but um, there's a mega box lift on it, like a lot of box lift, um, a lot for me rather. They have a. Right, they have a uh, Imperial Settlers big box coming out, which I missed the pre-order on because I didn't even have the game then. So, if it comes back for regular sale because it's sold out, um, I will definitely get it because it just holds everything in one box. So does this, but it's just a little bit of a, of a box lift. So, pull this over here. Badoosh. You seen a folded space insert? You're gonna see one again because it's pretty much the same as all the others, but. It holds all the things here. So it has, I printed these out, but they're, um, so I just use the barbarians as I printed these out on BGG. They're just dividers. Um, each expansion comes with another set of cards for that faction. So you can deck build. I just played with the common cards. So those will go here. Like that. And then there's uh, these trays go here. Then the player boards go over top. It's nice, like I said, but there's some significant box, box lift because of those tiles on top of it. Uh, it's not a big, big deal, but as tokens for the other factions as well. And all the expansions like, we didn't start the fire. Why can't we be friends? Um, all that. So let me see if I can find, where was it? That there were solo... I figure out, I forget which um, one of these expansions had some solo. Okay, here we go. So might have come in these ones. So this is the Why Can't We Be Friends expansion. Um, they don't have this one, no, because it, it wasn't a Kickstarter. So the, this was sold from, port. the big box was sold from Portal Games itself. So a couple of expansions, I think it's We Didn't Start the Fire, uh, three is a magic number, and why can't we be friends? Comes with two of these cards each, and they give you a faction that you can assign to your uh, your dummy, your virtual player. Um, and then this one says, for example, the Romans. We get a view of this here. The Romans it says during the lookout phase, you can draw uh, during the lookout phase draw five common cards instead of four. Therefore, the virtual player will have three in his area. So each round, they're, they're up against, it's like another level of difficulty. And it has the barbarian. So if I wanted to play another set of barbarians, uh, during the virtual player attack phase, conduct the attack three times instead of two. So it just ups the difficulty, gives them something better to do. Um, but that stays consistent throughout the, um, the, the, the virtual player is there for this and then the, the actual campaign that's coming. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's definitely a good insert. Um, the, the lift is okay. It's not a big deal. I store some manuals here too, and I put the for that. I put the solo cards. Where you put them away? Oh, right here. I, these commons here. I put the solos here, then just uh, put the rest back. But 
thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and kind of ha had a chance to follow along to see what a, a solo game is like. I'm going to come back either tonight or, you know, so, sometime this week uh, to play, start the campaign and see how that goes. And that's, that's a uh, multiple game campaign and we'll get to it. So uh, thanks guys. Check out the podcast. Um, I appreciate, I, I appreciate Chris for all the feedback and uh, we'll be back again. So uh, see you guys.